Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a form to Raza that asks for your first and last name. The reason why this is a nice exercise is because detecting a name with a machine learning algorithm is hard. If you consider all the shapes and sizes that names can be in, then you might wonder if an entity detection model is the way to go. You could certainly try, but maybe it's a bit better to just ask the user for their name instead of trying to find it in a bit of text. To facilitate this, we are making our slot a little bit different. A name will still be a slot of type text, but instead of getting it from an entity, we are going to get it from text quite literally. We're using the from text mapping here, and this will allow us to store anything that the user types as a slot. In order to make sure that everything goes well though, what I have done is I've added a condition such that we are only going to be recording the text if the name form is actually active. I have done this for the first name as well as the last name over here. And this should already be enough to ask the user for their first and their last name. To make the experience just a little bit better though, I have also added another configuration to my domain.yaml file. If we scroll down and have a look at the responses, then you'll notice that I have a utter ask first name configured here, as well as a utter ask last name. There is, after all, a naming convention inside of Raza that we could go ahead and use. There is the utter underscore ask and then underscore slot name convention. And this allows us to specify utterances that we're going to use to ask the user for information. If you want to use a custom action for this, that's also possible. In that case, you would call it action underscore ask underscore slot name. But in this case, we're keeping it relatively simple by just using a static utterance. Because our form is first going to be asking for the first name and afterwards going to be asking for the second name, we can assume that the first name has already been given by the time we ask for the last one. And that means that we can use a slot value in our response here as well. And this might cause a natural progression. If I were to say, Vincent is my first name, then the assistant would ask, so Vincent, what is your last name? And note that you can use this for many different responses. I also have one over here where I'm mentioning both the first and the last name as well. This is everything that I've set up in my domain.yaml file, but it's good to know that I've also made a nlu.yaml file. The main thing that I've added here is just this one intent that is supposed to trigger the form. In this case, in this case, if we're indicating that we want to give the name to the assistant, then this intent is going to trigger the form on our behalf. And that's because it's defined in our rules.yaml that this is the behavior that we want. We are activating our form and we're also able to submit the form. Let's give a small demo of this. And Raza Interactive has just loaded. I can start by saying hi, it says hi back, so far so good. Well, let's now trigger the form by saying give name. The right request is being triggered, so again, that's good. And the name form is about to start. Note, by the way, that none of the slots are currently set, which is good to keep in the back of your mind. First, it is asking for the first name. Note that it's using the response that I defined earlier and that the requested slot currently is set to first name. In this case, I will go ahead and type Vincent. And here, something interesting is happening because it's detecting a intent deny, which technically isn't correct, but because we've set up our conditions in such a way that within the form we are just going to have a look at this text, we should be fine. The name form is still running and the first name slot has actually been set. When it's time to ask for the next slot, we can also confirm that it's now saying, so Vincent, what's your last name? So again, we can see that it's using the utterance that we provided in our domain.yaml file. In this case, I'll type Warmerdam, which is my last name. Again, we see an intent here, but again, it won't matter because we are grabbing the slot value from the text. 
We can now confirm that the second slot is set and the name form wants to proceed. We can confirm that after both slots have been filled, the name form has detected that it's indeed done. So the active loop is being turned off and we are moving on to the other submit, which is defined in our rules.yaml file. So there you have it. We have a form that's able to get our names from the text in a conversation inside of Raza.